Okay, so in this video, we're going to be looking at Booth's algorithm for multiplication. So let's say you have two numbers, so three and six, and you want to multiply this. So three times six is what, 18? Okay, so now you want to use Booth's algorithm for multiplying this. So first of all, let's find the binary values for this. So for three, it's zero zero uh, okay one one and for six it's zero one one zero okay so three is the multiplicand and six is going to be the multiplier so let's create a simple table so first column is step second all the second column is iteration the third column is product, the fourth column is L, and the fifth column is description. Okay, now let's start. For step zero, the iteration is going to be zero. Now you're gonna initialize this first. So put like four zeros here, so that's four bits. And you're going to put this value, the multipliers value, here as well. So 0, 1, 1, 0. And then you're just going to simply add 0 here. And the description will be in it, initialization. OK. Now, I'm going to take these two values here. I'm going to use this for the next steps. So for step one, since these two values are zero, zero, you're going to do nothing. So for basically if it's zero, zero or one, one, you're going to do nothing. If it's zero, one, you're going to use add addition. And for one, zero, it's going to be subtraction. Now, for the step one, it's iteration one, so one point. Now, you're just going to put these two values, so zero, zero, one point, zero, zero. And then, basically, you're, go you're not really going to do anything in this step, so this one's going to be blank. For the next step, however, you're going to shift this. You're going to shift these values. So shift this thing on the right side. So. This will be iteration two, same step, step one. So this thing is going to come down. And also this thing is going to basically is a shift, right? Whatever value is here, you're going to put it as the first value, first bit. And you're just going to shift this bit to the right. So zero, 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 zero. And then this zero, zero, one, one and zero okay so now it's one zero so if it's one zero you're gonna use a subtraction step so for the next step this thing's gonna be 1.10 because it's one zero here now this is gonna be a subtraction step so what you're simply gonna do is you're gonna take this value here the multiplicand value and you're gonna use the negative value so for the negative value of three is minus three so if you negative it so basically zero zero one one and you use two's complement so one one zero zero and add one so one one zero one so this is minus three okay so you're just gonna use this value now since this is a subtraction you're gonna use the negative value if it's subtraction use the negative value if it's add, then use the positive value. So 1, 1, 0, 1. And this is going to be the same. So 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. Now for the next step, uh, sorry, next iteration. So iteration 2, same step. You're just going to shift this. So shift this thing. Now this thing's one, so you're just gonna put this here one as well. 
and you're just going to shift these values to the right so 1101 1101 and 0011 so 0 0 1 1 okay so for step 3 this thing's going to be 11 so 1.11 now if it's 11 then you're just going to like not do anything so this thing's like blank blank the next iteration however for the second one you're just gonna shift it so just shift this value here put this one at the bottom so one and just shift this to the right so one 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 zero and uh one zero zero one so one zero zero one okay so that's step three now for step four this thing zero one right so zero one you're gonna add this so now you're just gonna use the positive value of three so that's zero zero one one and you're just gonna add it here zero zero one one you're gonna add it with this value the these these values and this is going to be one one zero carry one so one 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 carry one 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 zero carry one 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 zero now this the the carryover which is one it doesn't matter you're not gonna like use it you don't need the carry for the boot algorithm so just leave it like this so zero zero one zero and these things stay the same so zero one zero zero and one right this was iteration 1.01 so 1.01 for iteration 2 you're just gonna shift this thing so shift this put 0 here from the top then just shift this to the right so 0 0 1 0 and this one 0 1 0 0 so 0 1 0 0 and then you are done okay so a, a good way to like keep track of whether you're done or not is just like use these values so this is the multiplier right so just like put a sign here so zero one one zero then you're just gonna like whenever you shift right then you just like cut one value out so zero one one zero then zero one one three here then zero one two here then zero zero here zero so after this value is gone so this value is like here there's nothing here there's no values from the multiplier so this is the answer and if you convert this so like zero 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 one zero zero one zero so this is a uh, zero one one zero one two three four so two to the power four plus two to the power one is a uh, 16 plus 2 which is 18 so you got the answer